Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Childhood Finds, if you've never joined me here before, and thank you to all my returning viewers. This video is going to be about um, kind of gross sales of 2023, did I meet my goals, and also setting goals for 2024. And I just, I want to encourage you to put down in the comments, you know, if you have goals or did you meet your last year's goals and they don't need to be big things they just you want them to be measurable something that you can really focus on and so this video is very much so going to be just motivation and something that holds me accountable so that's a big reason i'm doing it and i feel like it's helpful to hear about other people's goals so you can kind of think about what works for you and your life if you are a reseller or thinking about re being a reseller and kind of curious and so just to go over i am a full-time reseller this was my very first year as a full time for the whole entire calendar year and so my numbers you know I will go a little bit over that and then also I plan to keep growing so this was a lot about growth I had a lot of change during that year so I just continue to try and find ways to do better and so let me go over what my 2023 goals were last year when I um, started my goal was to get up to 1500 active listings when I first went into being a full-time reseller I only had about four to 500 listings. And that's not saying you can't be a full-time reseller on those li that listing amount. It depends on how you source and what you sell. With what I sell, I do need some more items. And it's just what I can source, I need more items. But many people can do it on much less. So my goal was 1,500 active listings. And so I now have been, I danced between 16 to 1,800. And so I definitely met that goal and it's something I wanna to continue to increase. Um, but right now I'm just talking about the 2023 goals. My other goal was to start cross-listing more to Poshmark and Mercari. I just barely started um, cross-listing in 2022. So I really wanted to get into it more into 2023. I probably only had maybe 10% of my items cross-listed in 2022 and did the rest in 2023 so that was definitely a goal I met um, because it wasn't a high goal it was just I want to start doing that more and so I'm gonna have more specific goals on that this year and the biggest one I wanted to gross 75,000 across all my platforms and gross is going to be including everything and I didn't have a net um, goal just because I'm it's a, there's a lot more growth I'm trying to do, trying to get this off the ground. And so I didn't focus strongly on net. Of course I look at net. I have spreadsheets, uh, you know, I do all that stuff. So I know I'm making money, but I just wanted to focus on the gross number for right now. And that's going to include, you know, shipping fees, et cetera. Um, so I in no way made, you know, that much, but that was the goal. So did I meet those goals? I met the 1500 active listings, I got to that. And then I did cross list more to Poshmark and Mercari. I probably have about three fourths to four fifths of my items onto at least one other platform. I don't cross list everything to both platforms, but I do have that. And then what is my gross? So my gross is actually 68,000 $46.33. So no, I did not make my 75,000 gross, but I really kind of set the 75,000 as a, I really just put a shot in the dark. I am still learning and I was definitely still learning then. I'd been reselling for a couple years, but this was the first time I really delved into this. So I'm really not upset that I didn't meet that. I still am making money you know, I work a ton, but my previous jobs, I worked a ton. I was, my last job, I was pretty much on call 24 seven. And so I, in a way I'm on that this way, or in a way I'm on call 24 seven with eBay too, but I can take a break when I want to. I can go walk my dogs when I want to. I can go be with my grandparents when I want to. I can do, there is more freedom involved. There's a lot more other fees or fees. I, I, act like I'm talking about 
selling fees, but I, there's a lot more, um, things to consider, you know, health insurance, et cetera. There's a lot more things you do have to consider when you don't have a typical nine to five. 401ks, you know, retirement plans, those things I am continuing to focus on and to be able to include that in my budget. Because in 2025, I'm really going to be focusing on net profit and making sure that this is absolutely a viable business. Right now, it feels like it is, but I just want to make sure the numbers reflect it as well and that I'm able to support myself, my family, etc. So, what are my 2024 goals? And that's going to be, I want 2,000 to 2,100 active listings. Likely I might try to do more, but that's why I want to set the goal because like right now, I really would be pushing it if I did any more than that with space. So I'm really considering space in that. If I decide to branch out, I've considered doing a storage unit or something to branch out so that I have some more room because I am you know, we're going to probably be moving here soon and I I might need to branch out into a storage unit if it's a smaller place. So I am considering that and that will affect how many active listings I can have. So right now we're looking at 2000 to 2100 is definitely my goal to kind of maintain and get to. And so then my other one to deal with my cross listing is I do want to continue to increase that. So what my goal I want to be. So when I'm setting goals, I'm really trying to find ones that are measurable. I don't want them to be arbitrary because those aren't really, those are hard to measure and not, not really uh, helpful to you. So like, I don't want to say, I want to do better at cross-listing. I can't really judge that. It's hard to judge that. Or I want to be the best there is at eBay. In my head, I could be the best, but on paper, I'm yeah, definitely not. So I just want them to be goals that I can meet. And that's what I would suggest for yourself. And try to just, you know, fit your goals to what your reselling is if you're a reseller or self-employed. So if you're a part-time reseller, maybe you say, I want to list two new items every single day. And that's your goal. That's an awesome goal for a part-time reseller. It's great. Keeps your store active. So maybe something like that could be your goal. Or say you want to maintain 250 active listings. Or you want to start cross-listing. So you want to be able to, you want to have all of your items cross-listed onto one other platform at least by the end of the year. Those are all measurable that you can meet. So other one, so now my next goal is, or I didn't even say what my cross listing goal was yet. I started uh, rambling there and I hope this video will probably be a little shorter than the rest. And it's going to be definitely more talking. You're mostly just looking at me for this, but I hope it is helpful for you to think about your goals as well with the new year coming. And I mostly need this to look back on in a year. So I want to sell an average of two total items per on my whole cross listing. So I don't care if I average zero or if I average one every other day on Mercari, but I average two a day on Poshmark or what have you. I want it to even out to where I'm essentially selling two extra items a day. And that doesn't seem like a huge goal, but for me right now with where my cross listing is and what my sales are like, it's definitely going to be better than what it is. I've made, I, you know, I do have a video on cross listing and if it was worth it this last year, I'll link it down in the description for you if you'd like to check it out. Um, but it would, it's definitely going to improve my numbers and improve all of my stats if I'm able to meet that goal. So I want to do, try to sell two more items a day essentially by cross listing. And then my gross, I want to gross a hundred thousand across all of my platforms this next year. And I didn't, this number I actually really looked at. So 75,000, I was just like throwing a dart at a dartboard and hoping to see what stuck. This one, I looked at, you know, what I needed to average a day. And it's something that I feel like I can get to. Um, because what I, I, my numbers really started to pick up in July. I really started to see my momentum building 
in July, but then I had some hiccups with moving and etc. So, and like my November was crazy. So it's just, I'm finding the right rhythm and I really think if I can keep the momentum I have, 100,000 gross is definitely something that I could achieve. And um, again, I will focus on a net profit, you know, probably in my 2025. Right now, I just wanna get my sales up into a stable level. And, I've, you know, I am, I will put it as this way, I am still netting more than I was when you averaged out what I was working in my previous jobs. Uh, so I'm still making money, uh, but I eventually I'll share like what I netted total with eBay as well. Um, but for right now, I'm just focusing on gross. And another goal that I'm adding this year is for YouTube. So I didn't have a goal for that for last year because I didn't start my YouTube channel until February 1st. And then I just, I kind of did it on a whim. I just decided to try it out. It was, I needed, I was lonely for lack of a better way for why I started it. So I did it as a way to just get out there and feel connected to something because reselling can be a very lonely gig. And so I am almost at my thousand subscribers um, from this, you know, and I just, I want to say thank you to all the people that have watched me this year. I really appreciate you. And it's made, made all the difference in my life to have this extra community. It's been amazing. So thank you to everybody that's joined me. And I, what my goal is, is this may be a very, very lofty goal. It's 2,500 subscribers by the end of 2024. I I do know that you usually pick up momentum after a thousand, so that's what I'm hoping for. Because it did it is taking me almost a year to get a thousand. So we'll see. But 2,500 is kind of my goal. I just want to keep building this community and hopefully help others. And then the biggest one I really want to focus on is establish, uh, establishing sourcing relationships or just finding better ways to source. So I know a lot of people talk about how sourcing is the best part of the job. It's the most fun. It does stress me out. I enjoy it, but it does, it brings me a lot of anxiety. I, I struggle with, I, I'm not a person that's very, um, I don't want to use the term aggressive, but I am just, I'm not as bold as others. So like, I will not show up to a yard sale an hour early. I won't. I will feel like I'm being rude. I don't want to inconvenience people. And I just, I really can't do that. And I don't want to, I don't want to fight people for products. And I know that sometimes that's what you have to do. So I um, want to establish better sourcing relationships. So if I can connect with people around me that do it and, you know, maybe estate cleanouts, etc., I want to try to do that. And so what I'm going to do to try and meet that is I'm going to make business cards. And my goal is going to be, I think once I make them, I want to try to pass out at least, I'm going to say at least 10 business cards a month. I really need to pass out more. But because I am a, a more shy person, but I'm trying to improve that with this, I want to just put it as a goal that I, I feel like is a challenge for me, but something I can possibly meet if I try. And so I want to be able to hand out at least 10 business cards a month. And I, I want to count them as ones that I feel like could be good relationships. So whether that be someone's people that sell collections, people that buy storage units that need to get rid of stuff they don't like to deal with. If they don't like to deal with toys, here I am. If they don't like to deal with any sort of collections. I love me some collections. Then I would absolutely do that. And so that's really what I also want to focus on. So if you're near me, I'm in the, you know, Nevada area. If you are in, I'm, I'm the other big city in Nevada. So not Las Vegas, but Reno. So I'm in that area, but willing to travel uh, multiple hours around me. If you're a person that has, it wants to connect in some way, you can always reach out to me. I would be happy to try and make it a prosperous relationship with everyone. And um, those, I'm trying to think of what else I can do as a measurable goal for establishing sourcing relationships. And that I think I'm gonna have to keep considering on because I just, it's something I wanna do better at. So I think I want to 
look more into auctions, possibly shipping options. Maybe I need to start looking at sourcing on eBay. And, you know, but I do, I do every, I like, I look on Facebook Marketplace, I look at thrift stores, I look at garage sales, estate sales, you know, I do online auctions, etc. But I want to try to improve that. I just want to make sure I have good inventory um, all year round. Because of course, winter is stressful when you're not, if you don't have a big enough death pile to get through it, if you're in an area that gets kind of cold. So I don't have a lot of great measurable goals for establishing sourcing relationships, but I feel like I will be able to tell if I have really met that next year. If I'm still at this point where I, right now, I am stressed. I am feeling stressed because I don't know where I'm going to find the next good items for my store. Do I have enough for winter? You know, it's it's a very stressful feeling. So I will know if I've met that next year, my stress level's down. Um, but I know that's a bad influence to say, make measurable goals and then I just do that. But we're gonna put it at 10 business cards every month and I will make it a goal. I think I, at least one person a weekend, if people ask me what I'm doing with items, I should be honest. I should practice that because talking about what you do is important because we are what makes the difference to change people's minds that um, all resellers are bad. So I'm going to try to make that effort to say what I do, talk about how it supports my family. It's something that lets me learn every day. It's hard work, but it's, it's a meaningful job um, and matters just as much as any other job. Uh, so that I think I will do is I'll try once a weekend when I'm sourcing like garage sales. So March area through October ish to say, yes, I I'm a reseller. That's what I'm going to do with this item. And then maybe talk about why or what, etc., or tell people about items, what have you. So that is, um, pretty much my goals for the year. I, I hope this video might be helpful for you to think about your goals. Please put down in the comments if you have set your goals or if you met your last year's. I'd love to talk with you guys as always. I apologize. Sometimes I'm slow getting back to comments. I'm still juggling a lot and finding my balance, but I always, always try my best to reply to everyone because I appreciate all of you that take the time to chat with me and to watch my videos. So thank you for joining me and I will see you on the next one.